In this video, I'll be removing the copper plating from a zinc penny using calcium hydroxide, sulfur, and dish soap. I'm using pennies made after 1982 as they have a core made of zinc, covered with copper plating. After 1982, the U.S. Mint began using zinc instead of copper for penny production to save on costs. To keep the copper appearance, pennies are electroplated with a thin layer of copper. I measured out 6 grams of sulfur and 3 grams of calcium hydroxide. Sulfur needs to be in excess in order to react with the copper. I filled an Erlenmeyer flask with 750 milliliters of water and added 8 pennies to it. I'm using a magnetic hot plate to both mix and heat the solution. This experiment is being done outside as it does create hydrogen sulfide gas which is poisonous and smells like rotten eggs. When I add the sulfur and calcium hydroxide to the water, the sulfur does not dissolve very well as it's nonpolar. I added dish soap to break the water surface tension and allow the sulfur to mix. The temperature is set to 230 Celsius or 445 Fahrenheit and left to run for two hours. Afterwards, the solution turns a dark orange, similar to copper. This is caused by colloidal copper oxide that has been suspended in solution. The pennies themselves have turned black, as some of the copper coating has been converted to copper sulfide or calcocyte, which has a naturally black appearance. During the reaction, calcium bonds with sulfur, creating calcium sulfide. As calcium and sulfide ions dissociate in water, they separate into positive calcium and negative sulfur ions. Some of these sulfur ions bind to the positive copper ions, yielding black copper sulfide. I dried the pennies on a paper towel, and then used a rubbing block to clean off the copper sulfide coating, revealing the zinc below. And this is how you remove copper from a zinc penny.